So to get started, the first thing that we're going to want to do is create a new project. So we'll just double click on Migrate Project. We'll go ahead and maximize this. And you can name things at this point, but uh, I won't. The most important thing that we want to do on this scene is change the orientation and the target platform. And we want to switch this over to iPad Landscape. So we'll do that now. Click OK. And then uh, we won't really change the scene because we don't know exactly what this scene is going to be right now. So we'll double click on this and we want to import all the artwork to get things started. So simply click on images, click the plus arrow at the bottom of the image bin, and then locate the artwork folder which has all of our images. We're going to select everything but the master Photoshop file. Open that up. And all of these are actually going to be actors, so at this point I can click and drag over all of them and drag them all up into the actor bin to turn them all as actors. So the first thing that we want to do is just set up our scene. So we can simply drag our grass inside our scene here. Get that aligned. We can drag the tank in. The gun turret. Our ammo canopy. And we don't need to drag the ammo in the scene because we're actually going to be spawning the ammo from the gun turret. Now, you notice the order in which I dragged everything into the scene was the correct order and how everything is layered. But if I just delete everything all of a sudden, and I were to do things slightly differently, like drag the tank in, maybe the ammo tent, maybe the gun turret, and maybe the grass, we could actually line everything up or layer everything correctly by simply clicking on this scene tab here. And if we click on layers, you notice that we have all of our layers here. So I can drag grass to the bottom. We can put our tank next, our gun and the ammo tent up at the very top. And it's also good to know how to get here because if you have something layered on top of another actor, you can select it here in this layer menu and then move it around that way. So for instance, I actually can't select the tank below this tent, but I can do it by simply clicking on the tank here, moving that over, and then selecting the gun and moving that over. So just go ahead and set your scene up so it looks something like this. If I click Preview, there we go. We have our scene pretty much set up. You don't have to get the gun perfectly uh, set up over the top of the tank because we're going to be doing some constraints that will snap it there regardless. Once you have your scene set up this way and all your artwork imported, we can move on to the next step, which is setting up some behaviors for these actors.